What's up guys, it's Strax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another top 4 male chart outfit video using clothing glitches. So the 4 outfits you do see in the thumbnail will be the outfits I'm going to show you how to make it, but the first outfit I'm wearing right now will be the first outfit I'm going to show you how to make. So first, we're going to go ahead and get the black joggers for this outfit. So you guys will want to go ahead, pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to services, click on services, scroll down to mobile operation center, click on mobile operation center, and just request your MOC because we're going to need to do the MOC jobs so then we can get the B. Go ahead and just wait for it to spawn. So mine will probably spawn right around here at this area. But whenever your MOC does spawn, then you're just going to want to go ahead and go to your MOC. So I'll just go back to you whenever I do get to my MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. If you do get to the clothing store and you guys are wearing the black joggers, the first thing you guys will want to do is go ahead and take off any top that your character has because for some reason, if your character has like a sweater on, uh, you guys for some reason just can't equip the scarf. So go ahead and just take off uh, any of your character's tops and then walk over here to your accessories. Whenever you do get to the accessories, go ahead and scroll down to scarves, click on scarves, and go ahead and equip the black desert scarf. After you do equip the black desert scarf, go ahead and now just back out of the accessories, walk over here to the tops, scroll down until you do find sweaters, which will be right here on slot 39. So click on sweaters, and then you're just going to go ahead and look for the black turtleneck. And after you do equip the black turtleneck, you can now back out of the tops, walk over here back to the accessories, go ahead and scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, and look for the white cotton gloves, which will be on slot 53. And after you do equip the white cotton gloves, and you do have obviously the black scarf, you can now just back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sports shoes, which will be on slot nine. So just go ahead and click on sports shoes, and you're gonna be looking for the all white sports shoes, which will be on slot 28. And after you do equip the all white sports shoes, back out of the shoe section, walk over here to the hats, Scroll down to Bulletproof Helmets, which will be on slot 19. Click on Bulletproof Helmets, and you're going to be looking for the Black Bulletproof. After you do equip the Black Bulletproof Helmet, you can now just back out of the hats. And for the Parachute, pull up your Interaction menu, scroll down to Style, click on Style, scroll down to Parachute, click on Parachute, and make sure your Parachute is set to On. After your Parachute is set to On, make sure you have the Black Combat Shoot Bag. If you don't have the Black Combat Shoot Bag, you will want to go to the Gun Store, Go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then just look for the black combat shoe bag and go ahead and buy it. And after you do buy it, you can back out of the 
front counter at the interaction or at the ammunition store. And then you can now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to parachute, click on parachute, and then just set it to on. And it should already be set to the black combat shoe bag. So this is what your outfit should look like so far, but without the mask. So now we're gonna go ahead and head over here to the mask door so then we can get this mask. Whenever you've made it to the mask door, go ahead and walk over here to the masks, scroll down to ski mask, which will be on slot 19. So click on ski mask and you're gonna be looking for the black bigness face, which will be on slot 83. And after you do equip the black bigness face, then it should already combine with your bulletproof helmet. So this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So you can, you can either go to the mask, the hats, or over here to the t-shirts, and then you can go ahead and press right on the D-pad, hit edit saved outfits, and just, you can save this outfit on whichever slot you want. So that's pretty much it for this outfit. So after you did save it, now we can go back to the clothing store and work on the second outfit clothing store this will be the second outfit i'm going to make so for this outfit go ahead and walk over here to the uh front counter whenever you have made it up here to the front counter hold down until you do find the heist tactical stealth which will be right here on slot 20 stealth and you're going to be an outfit that's called the pincer or pincer something like that and whenever you do find the pincer outfit you're going to want to go ahead and and equip this outfit because this outfit get midnight camo fitted jeans with the boots you guys for some reason can't just normally equip the boots if you go to, if you go to the shoe section so you have to equip the outfit through the front counter just this but after you do equip this outfit you can now just go ahead back out of the front counter walk over here to your tops scroll down until you do find designer t-shirts which will be right here on slot 29 click on designer t-shirts and then you can just be t-shirt which will be on slot two on designer t-shirts. And if you guys for some reason don't have, or if you guys don't want this t-shirt, you can go ahead and back out of the designer t-shirts and scroll up until you find special tops, which will be right here on slot 22. Click on special tops, and then you're gonna go ahead and click on arcade, which is on the first slot. And you can also go ahead and equip the trained to kill the T, which is on slot eight, or depending, I guess, depending how many other shirts you guys have but you guys can also equip the train to kill T. Uh, the only way you can get is if you do have the search game. I forgot what it is called, but if you guys already have it, then you guys have it. I'm pretty sure you guys can still get it, uh, but if you guys know how to get it, then you guys can go and do that. But if you guys don't have that t-shirt, like I, you can just go to designer t-shirts and then just equip the pink SN SNPRB t-shirt, which is on slot two. But after you do equip a pink t-shirt that looks like this, you can now just go ahead back out of designer t-shirts or special tops and scroll up until you do find uh hoodies and so hoodies should be right here on slot go ahead and click on hoodies and a black hoodie which will be right here on slot 74. so once you do equip the black hoodie you can now just back out of the top section and walk over here to your accessories and once you do get to the accessories just scroll down to gloves go ahead and click on gloves and you're going to be looking for the black woolen gloves which will be on slot 58 and after you do equip the black woolen gloves you can just go ahead back out of your accessories for the body armor you can pull up your interaction menu scroll down to inventory click on inventory scroll down to body armor click on body armor and where it says show armor scroll through your body armor until you do find the standard armor which is this black vest right here after you do equip this black vest we're now going to go ahead and do the glitch so then we're able to get this pink uh thermal quad lens so to get this pink thermal quad lens you will need a car for this glitch and a ceo so go ahead and just join a ceo for right now and after you do join a ceo you're going to want to go ahead and walk over here to the hats whenever you do get to, to the hats you're going to want to go ahead and scroll down until you do find helmets which will be right here on slot 16 so click on helmets and you're going to be looking for the white open face helmet which will be right here on slot 78 you're going to want to go ahead and buy the white open face helmet after you do buy the white open face helmet, go ahead and back out of the helmets and scroll uh, scroll down until you find combat helmets, which will be right here on slot 22. So click on combat helmets and you're just going to be looking for the zebra quad lens. And whenever you do find the zebra quad lens, which should be up here at the top and they look exactly like this, then you're just going to want to go ahead and equip the zebra quad lens. After you do equip the zebra quad lens, back out of the hat section and now you're going to want to pull up your interaction menu scroll down to style click on style and on your biker helmet scroll through your biker helmet until you do find the white open face helmet 
And whenever you do find the white open face helmet, you can now just uh, go ahead and back out of the style, pull, uh, scroll up to your secure serve CEO, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, and you're now gonna wanna go ahead and hop inside a car. After you do hop inside the car, scroll one time to the right on your CEO style, and then scroll one time to the left, back to none on your CEO style. After you have done that, you can now just hop out of the car. And now after you do that, put away your interaction menu and hold right on your D-pad. So then your visors will lift up just like this. And then you can see that the thermal quad lens turn pink just like this. And if you want the quad lens to go down, hold right on your D-pad again, and then your quad lens will go down just like this. So that's exactly it for this outfit. So after you've finished and made this outfit, you can go over here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and then you can save this outfit on whichever slot you want. So that's pretty much it for this outfit. So let's go ahead and move on to the third outfit. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys on how to make the tan joggers outfit that I'm wearing right here. So to, to get the tan joggers, you guys will wanna go ahead and join a CEO. So pull up your interaction menu and scroll down to secure serve. And then you're just gonna wanna register as a CEO. After you do register as a CEO, pull up your interaction menu up again, click on secure serve CEO, scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, and on your CEO style, scroll through your CEO style until you do find the Warlord outfit. So after you do scroll to the Warlord outfit, all you're gonna need to do is just keep finding a new session pause, and then go ahead and scroll through online, and then just keep finding a new session until you do spawn in with the outfit you did have on before the Warlord. So I had an outfit with a uh, the tan quad lens, that's the outfit I should spawn in with whenever I do find the new session. You guys don't always get it the first time, but if you are lucky, you guys will get it the first time, but it could take up to maybe six to 10 tries. And if it doesn't work on your, just say your sixth try and you just wanna give up, leave your CEO and then register as the CEO again, and then just try the process again, and then it'll eventually work. But yeah, so once you are wearing the Warlord outfit, go ahead and just scroll to online, scroll down to find new session, and then if you are on the new generation consoles, it gives you all these other options. Uh, then you, But if you guys are on the old gen, then it's just gonna have you uh, obviously find a new public session. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep finding a public session until I do spawn in with the outfit I did have on before the Warlord outfit. So this is the outfit I had on before the Warlord outfit. So once you do spawn in with the outfit you had on before the Warlord, run back inside the clothing store and you're gonna wanna just run up here to the front counter and just sit here at the front counter until it does kick you out. And then whenever it does kick you out, you should spawn back in with the Warlord outfit. So just like this. So after English Dave is done talking to me, uh, but once you do uh, spawn back in or get kicked out of the front counter, and you guys are wearing the Warlord outfit, all you guys have to do is just pull up your interaction menu and then just leave your CEO. And then after you do leave your CEO, you should still be wearing the Warlord outfit. So now we can just go ahead and make the Tan Joggers outfit that I was wearing earlier. Now we can go ahead and make this outfit. So for this outfit, we're gonna go ahead and equip the scarf first. So uh, we have to take off every top uh, that your character has. So if your character has like just any shirt or any like vest on, we're gonna have to take that off because just like with the black outfit, the first outfit we made, for some reason, we can't equip the scarf after we do equip a top. So uh, I guess we have to equip the scarf first. So once your character is topless, go ahead and go up over here to your accessories and scroll down to scarves, click on scarves, and just look for the tan desert scarf, which will be right here on slot four. After you do equip the tan desert scarf, you can now just go ahead and back up the accessories, walk over here to your tops, scroll down to utility tops, which is on slot 52, click on utility tops, and scroll up until you do find the beige detail battle vest, which will be right here on slot 30. And so after you do equip this utility top, you can now go ahead and back out of the utility tops, scroll down to utility vest, which is on slot 53, click on utility vest, and you're gonna be looking for the black utility vest, which looks just like this. It's called the peach, or it's called the black plate carrier, which is right here on slot 53. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and equip the black plate carrier. After you do that, and you do have the utility top and the utility vest, you can now just back out of the tops, walk over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, click on gloves, 
and you're going to be looking for the black leather gloves, which will be on slot 60. After you do equip the black leather gloves, just back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, scroll down to sport shoes, which will be on slot 9, click on sport shoes, and you're going to be looking for the all white sport shoes, which is on slot 28. And once you do equip the all white sport shoes, just back out of the shoe section, walk over here to your hats, scroll down to combat helmets, which is on slot 22. So just click on combat helmets and you're going to be looking for the brown quad lens, which will be on slot 43. After you do equip the brown quad lens, just back out of the hat section. And now for this outfit, you will want to head over here to the mask door. After you do get to the mask door, just walk over here to the masks, scroll down to crime, which is on slot nine, click on crime, and you're going to be looking for the black t-shirt mask, which is on slot 56. After you do equip the black t-shirt mask, your thermal quad lens will come off. So go ahead, back out of the mask door, and then we're going to go ahead and head over here to the pier so we can do the telescope glitch and we can merge the quad lens with the mask. When you've made it to the pier and you found a telescope, just do the telescope glitch. So you should only be wearing your mask. Now you can just do the telescope glitch to go and run past the telescope like this. Here right on the D-pad, you will see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. So pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, click on style, scroll down to your accessories, click on accessories, and scroll down to your helmets, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the brown quad lens. Once you have found the brown quad lens, you can put away your interaction menu and walk away from the telescope, and then you will see that the mask does merge with your helmet just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save this outfit on whichever slot you want, and now we can move on to the fourth outfit. Okay guys, this will be the final outfit I'm going to show you how to make in today's video. So for this outfit, whenever you do get back to the clothing store, you're going to want to go ahead and head over here to your tops. Scroll down to t-shirts or just click on any selections of uh, clothing that uh, lets you equip no top. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll to, scroll to t-shirts, which is on slot 23, and then go ahead and put on no top, which is on slot 1. After you do put on no top in your character's top list, go ahead and scroll down to uh, utility vest, which will be right here on slot 53. So click on the utility vest, and then you're going to be looking for the peach plate carrier right here on slot 43. So just equip the peach plate carrier. After you do that, you can now just back out of the top section and walk over here to your pants. Whenever you do get to the pants, scroll down to suit pants, which will be on slot six. So click on suit pants and you're gonna be looking for the black slim fit, which will be on slot 32. And after you do equip the black slim fit, back out of the pants, head over here to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, click on gloves and look for the black armored, which will be on slot nine. After you do equip the black armored, you can now just back out of the gloves, scroll down to cuffs, click on cuffs, and for your left arm, you're gonna be, you're gonna go ahead and equip the spiked gauntlet for your left arm, which is on slot six, and for your right arm, you're gonna go ahead and equip the spiked gauntlet for your right arm, which is on slot 17. And after you do have the gloves and the cuffs, back out of the accessories, head over here to your shoes, scroll down to skate shoes, which will be on slot three, so click on skate shoes, and you're gonna be looking for the slate skate shoes, which will be right here on slot four. After you have equipped the skate shoes, back out of the shoe section. And now, if your character has any head accessories, you're gonna wanna go ahead and take that off. So this, so this is what your outfit should look like so far. After your outfit looks like this, go up to the front counter and just save this outfit on slot one or slot 20. And after you do save this outfit, you can back out of the saved outfits and scroll down through the clothing until you do find heist coveralls, which will be right here on slot 13. So click on heist coveralls and scroll down from slot nine through slot 12 and just select one of these outfits with the toxic mask. So after you do equip one of these clothing or after you do equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask, you can now just back out and we're gonna go ahead and head over here to the pier. So then we can do the telescope glitch. So then we can merge the mask from, the, from this outfit over to the outfit we just saved. When you have found a telescope on the pier, you're just going to want to do the telescope glitch. So go ahead and run past the telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character glitches where his mask does come off. So now pull up your interaction menu, scroll down to style, scroll down to your outfits, and go ahead and equip the outfit we just saved at the clothing store with the peach plate carrier. So after you do equip this outfit, you can now just walk away from the telescope, and you should see that the mask does transfer over to this outfit just like this. After your outfit looks like this, we're now going to go ahead and head over here to the gun store so then we can save this outfit. 
Once you've gotten to a gun store, you're going to want to go ahead and walk over here to the clothing section and just hit right on the D-pad and then just hit edit saved outfits and you're going to want to go ahead, save this outfit once again on slot 1 or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. And after you did uh, save this outfit, we're now going to go ahead and start up the job that's called a Titan of a job. So just hit pause, scroll to online, go ahead and click on jobs, scroll down to play jobs, look for Rockstar Created, scroll down to missions, click on missions, and then just look for the job that's called a Titan of a job and just fully start up that job. When you have loaded into the Titan of a job mission, you can just walk back over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits, save this outfit again on slot one or slot 20, whichever you saved it on before. And after you did save this outfit, go ahead, pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you have loaded back in, you're going to want to go ahead and walk over here to the right side where it says outfits. Whenever you do get to the outfits, scroll down until you find the diamond casino heist, which will be your onslaught 50. So click on the diamond casino heist and scroll down until you do find, I believe it's going to be the prison guard. Yeah, go ahead and look for the prison guards, which will be right here on slot 15. So click on prison guards and you guys will see it gives you these outfits with the belts. So once you do find this outfit with the belt, and it doesn't really matter because they're obviously all the same belt, go ahead and equip one outfit. And after you do equip the outfit with the belt, you're now going to want to go ahead and go over here to your apartment. So then we can do the new merge glitch. Or if you guys like doing Crooked Cop and you guys want to do the hippie hunting, which is the only versus job that there is, then you guys can go and do, you guys can go ahead and do that because it's basically just like Crooked Cop but I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to my apartment. Once you've made it to your apartment and you go, once you've made it to your apartment, go to your heist planning board room. After you've made it to your heist planning board room, go up to your heist planning board. And if you guys have all the heist ready to go, out of all the heist, go ahead and select the first one that's called the Fleeka job. After you do select the Fleeka job, the first job it's gonna have you do, it's gonna be called scope out. And after you do the scope out mission, after you complete that one, the second job it's going to have you do, it's going to be called Kuruma. And that's the job we're going to be using for the merge glitch. So once you have the Kuruma job ready, just start up that job. When you load in, when you load into the Kuruma job, make sure your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits. After your heist clothing is set to player saved outfits, just wait, just wait for a friend or a random to join, and then you can just launch the job. Once you load into here on your owned outfits, if you did save your outfit on slot 1, scroll one time to the right. If you did save your outfit on slot 20, scroll one time to the left. And after your outfit looks like this, then you can just hit ready to play. So once you load into the Kuruma job, once you fully load in, just pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. So when you load back into a public session, you will see that you load back in into a prison guard's outfit. So whenever you load back into the prison guard's outfit, you're now going to want to go ahead and find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But once you do find a car, go ahead and get inside that vehicle. Once you get inside the vehicle, pull up your interaction menu and just register as a CEO or an, an MC. After you do register as a CEO or an MC, pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO or the Motorcycle Club. Scroll down to management, click on management, scroll down to style, click on style, and on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left, and then scroll one time to the right back to none. After you do that, hop out of the car, and then you should see that the belt does transfer over to your outfit, just like this. So now we're going to go ahead and finish the rest of this outfit, so go ahead and head over here to the clothing store. When you are at the clothing store, you're going to want to go ahead and walk over here to your accessories. Whenever you do get to your accessories, click on chains, which is on the first slot, and you're going to be looking for the platinum heavy curb chain, which will be on slot 32. After you do equip that chain, back out of your accessories, walk over here to your hats. Whenever you get to the hats, scroll down to bulletproof helmets, which is on slot 19, and look for the black bulletproof. And after you do equip the black bulletproof helmet, you can now just back out of the hats, and walk over here to the glasses and whenever you get to the glasses scroll down to gun range glasses click on gun range glasses and just equip the orange guns which will be on slot 11 and after you do equip the orange guns back out of the glasses and this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done so now you can just go ahead save this outfit on whichever slot you want and yeah that's pretty much it for these four outfits so i hope you guys did enjoy this out i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope you guys did enjoy these glitched outfits please like and subscribe Thank you guys for watching. Peace.